Hi Fat Yogi friends! My name is Tiffany. I am a fat yoga teacher trying to make yoga more accessible to everybody. So let's just get started friends. Today is all about gentle stretching. We are going to just focus on pigeon. Our hips are probably a little tight from all the working that we've been doing through vinyasa and the sun salutation. So let's take the time to kind of stretch them out. Um, today is just more of a gentler practice and I'd just like to show you that even though we aren't gonna tap into the breath or anything like that, you can always do that at the beginning of your practice to feel grounded, um, but you don't always have to. And just like today, we will just be finding our pigeon or our figure four a little bit differently. So we've done figure four before here. So I just wanna offer lots of variations before we kind of like jump in. Lots of variations. So the first one is no block or nothing. You are sitting in your chair and you just take the side of your foot and allow it to open up so it opens up the hip. You can even take this a little bit further, making sure that your hips are both on the chair, but maybe you come off to the side and just let the hip open up a little bit more. So this might be where you're at today, friends, and that's okay. So just take a couple of deep breaths here, feeling into that. Letting your hip open up. And then let's do it on the other side. So maybe we kind of sit off to the side a little bit. Still both booty cheeks are on the mat or on the, on the chair. And we take that right foot off to the side. If you're feeling a lot of pain somewhere because you're like, I feel off balance, um, you can always uh, grab on, on, onto another chair or something that's here that will help you feel a little bit more stable and then allow you to kind of open the hip and still feel grounded. So however you need to, maybe something, because I'm noticing myself kind of shifting like this, and there's a little bit of tension in my spine, it doesn't hurt, but I'm aware of it. So just kind of feeling into my own body, and then just suggesting that for you, because maybe your spine is of course different than mine, and it might cause pain. So just listen in, adjust where you need to. Coming back to center, let's go ahead and take your block, if you have a block, and you can start on that lowest setting. And let's bring it right next to that right foot, so it's like in between the two feet. Then you set your foot onto the block, giving it that open space to kind of open up off to the side. So we're working up, you should be feeling this on the inner, the outer, if you're like, I'm feeling it, I'm here, I'm present, that's awesome. If you're like, I don't really feel nothing, just let's go, go with it for a moment. <laughs> Take some deep breaths. You can also just slip right into figure four and be in figure four this entire time. And if you don't know what figure four is, then just follow me here. <laughs> and then take your other foot down and then we switch sides. So right foot now, feeling that amazing stretch. Letting yourself open up the hips slowly. We're going to do the entire practice in a chair today, friends. So there's not going to be any getting on the floor. <laughs> if you wanna do pigeon on the floor, then you go for it. Um, I won't be instructing it. Just this is your space to practice yoga however you'd like. And I'm giving you that opportunity to practice. I'm just not, that's not one of my offerings today, but it doesn't mean that you can't practice like that. So just take whatever it is that you'd like to do today and go for it. All right, let's bring our foot back down. And using the block, we'll bring it up a bit. If you don't have a block, you can always use a book. You could use a pillow, maybe a couple of pillows. It's not as sturdy as a block, so it might sink. It might not give you the same outcome, but it's very similar. You could use a little table or a little stool. So think outside the box here, friends. If you don't have a block, it doesn't mean that you can't practice. You just need to take a moment and think about it. I think Jessamine Stanley wrote in her book that she didn't have blocks, so she just duct taped like two phone books together. This was back in the day when they actually had phone books, and she just duct taped a couple books together and made blocks. She had no money. She used an old mat from 
her mom, I think, that she borrowed. <laughs> so for this hip opener, this is like on the tallest side of the block. And you might notice like, hey, something's happening. Go ahead and switch sides, bring that left foot down, right foot comes up, and we switch. So yeah, I feel like when it comes to props and accessibility, financially speaking, we don't always have the tools, we don't always have the means to purchase the items that every single instructor might be recommending. But we also need to understand that just because that's what they're recommending, doesn't mean that's the only thing that'll give you the same outcome. So something that just gives you a little bit of height, helps your foot get a little bit more leverage. That's what we're looking for here. And if you look around your house and start to think about what could I make this? You know, like even a really sturdy shoe box might like do the job because you're not putting a ton of weight on it. So it might do the job. <laughs> I'm choosing my words wisely here. Maybe you fill the shoebox with books and all of a sudden it becomes something that you can create a block out of. So like get crafty here friends. A lot of times we have to um, when you know money is tight or something else came up and you just can't afford some blocks and that's totally fine. Go ahead and bring your foot down. Now, if your hips are like, I'm here, this is where I'm at, then just switch sides using that same level that felt good for you. Otherwise, if you can, let's bring your foot up, grab it, left foot up, grab it with your left hand, and find a figure four. So here I am in my figure four, and I'm, I feel like my leg is kind of slipping down, my left leg, and so I'm going to take my block, place it on the ground, set my right foot on it, and then cross with my left. And now all of a sudden, my knee is more in line with my hip. And I can flex my left foot a little more easily and it kind of stays a little bit better. It's not, it's slipping a little, but not as much. So I'm feeling a little more secure. I sit up here and then exhale, I can lower down a little bit in my chest. And that, honestly, this is based off of what you're feeling. I'm feeling a lot of a stretch here. All on my outside edge of my knee, my hip, all of these places right here is feeling the stretch. So I'm taking my time here, feeling into the stretch, letting myself breathe and move and just be here. And a lot of times what happens is we find these stretches and we hold them for maybe two breaths, three breaths, do the next stretch, two breaths, three breaths. And today, I just encourage you to hold it for like one minute, two minutes. Now, if you're in a place where you can get into the pose and that's it, like I'm here, okay, I can't hold it anymore, I need to release. It just means that you need to open up the hips a little more, so go back to that next level down. And you might be in between the two, if it's a matter of like hip like flexibility, maybe um, you just need to hinge forward when you're uh, in the pose where the block is on its tallest setting. So there's different ways to access this. Just keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Again, that block is under that left foot. We grab the right ankle with the right hand and cross it over. My right hip is much tighter than my left, just noticing that flexing that right foot and maybe I lift and kind of move and I would not be able to lean forward. My right hip is obviously way tighter. I might even need to lean back a little bit because I don't think I could hold this for very long, but that's okay. Let's just sit here for a few moments. I definitely think I could do this, but I can feel my hip opening, so I'm leaning back in the chair a little bit and I feel comfortable, but I'm definitely stretching out my hip. I'm feeling into how this is uh, stretching that hip. It's on the whole outside and I'm just taking my time here. So we're here for a few more breaths. Tap into that Ujjayi breath. We've been doing that breath for 60 days now. This is the 62nd day. So we know what it is, right? So we know that today, 
even though we didn't tap into the breath, we do know what the ujjayi breath is. So take your time, maybe breathe in and then breathe out. Let that sink in. A lot of times I like to think of an affirmation, something like, I am releasing, I am opening. You know, something where it's like letting go or I am letting go. I like to use the words I am so it resonates from within when I'm thinking it. So I am releasing. And like even bringing that visual of a hand that's clasped and then releasing. And it kind of helps to open up these bigger muscle groups that love to hold on to the tension. They love it. <laughs> And we just need to be patient with them, taking the time to stretch it out. We're here for just another couple of breaths, friends. So take your time. Let yourself sink in. Feel into the stretch. And just breathe. Finding that ujjayi breath. We're here for just a couple more breaths. This last bit of the stretch is always, I feel like, the most important. It's the part where it's like, we know the end is coming and we want to get out. And our brain has to calm, has to calm before we move. And letting ourselves kind of like, just feel instead of think, oh, almost done, almost done, almost done. Like we need to let go of that thinking and think, okay, let's calm down. We're here for another couple of breaths. And then all of a sudden we're done. We can release, we feel a little more open. Maybe we open up our hips and circle the arms, press our palms together, come back to center. Thank you so much for stretching with me today, friends. I appreciate you so much. And tomorrow we are going to get with it. I can't wait to bring you some more yoga flows tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye.